This is Joe DeVincentis. What you're looking at is a neuro is the output of a Nurikabe solver that I wrote. It's solving a large puzzle constructed by Grant Fikes. The uh, blue and yellow portions represent the solved portions of the puzzle. Um, the logic that solves these portions runs very quickly, and except at the very beginning, it only runs in a localized manner on spaces near things that have changed. The, however, Nurikabe has large-scale effects due to the size of the islands, especially in a puzzle like this one. And so there are two other features that are needed in order to solve a puzzle like this one efficiently. One of them is the route finder. And the red flashes that you see on the screen, which occasionally get quite large, represent the uh, activity of the route finder. It's looking at each island, and if it's numbered already, it makes sure there's enough, there's that many squares available for it without running into some other numbered island. If it's not numbered, then it makes sure that it can connect to some numbered island without uh, exceeding the size of that island. Uh, as you see, sometimes, because there's not any real limit to that size, sometimes it ex explodes quite large before it decides that it can or can't find such an island. The, um, the reason that this appears to be scanning across the screen row by row is because of the other piece of this logic, which is a simple guesser. When the other ordinary logic fails, which it does in a puzzle like this quite quickly, it guesses individual squares, one at a time. What happens if this is an island? What happens if this is water? And if one of these is impossible, it chooses the other. If they're both possible, then it still may gain some inferences about other squares that are forced the same way for either choice.